Mm -hmm. um, for the next question, what are heterodox and heretics? And can you explain more about these concepts? Yeah, these terms are used quite um, interchangeably, um, but they, they are not. So heterodoxy means um, is used um, as an um, as a counterpart to orthodoxy. So orthodoxy means the right belief, uh, literally, um, and heterodoxy um, is used um, to refer to a person who um, just has um, um, the wrong kind of interpretation or the wrong kind of belief. Um, that is not quite the same as heretic. Um, a heretic is um, um, is almost like a disbeliever or that is um, against orthodoxy. Heterodoxy um, is used when a person um, might be misinterpreting, but that is not necessarily, um, 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 that does not necessarily require the person to be excommunicated, for example. That person just needs to be educated. Um, but um, um, heresy is um, quite a serious accusation for someone who um, is taught as um, as someone who's against um, belief and against orthodoxy. And how does this tie in with Christianity? Were there a lot of, I would say, like heterodoxy because of how easily you can in interpret uh, like Christianity? So that would be the clerical point of view, right? Um, from a religious studies perspective, from a historical perspective, um, the diversity in Christianity, the diversity in interpretation and practice um, is not represented as heterodoxy, right? This is um, just diversity. And there is, um, 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 we as historians do not have to adhere to um, the hegemony of one interpretation, uh, but we should, at least I uh, pay attention to give um, space to different interpretations without labeling them as orthodox or heterodox. So those labels are generally used by um, by um, clerics and um, and um, those whose writings we rely on for a historical rec reconstruction. That's not necessarily historically um, 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 meaningful um, category. Um, so um, so in terms of whether Christianity had a lot of heterodoxy, um, I would say no, it had a lot of diversity. Um, but um, whether the, but, but there is a long genealogy of heretics, right? These are again, quote unquote heretics that were condemned um, and excommunicated by church. And that's quite an interesting um, genealogy of names. Um, um, when we look at the historical circumstances, we always see that there are, again, um, reasons of um, 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 contests about religious authority and um, um, certain, uh, like a, a group of dynamics that led to uh, multiple people um, being labeled as heretics and excommunicated. Um, so that that is um, that is um, quite an interesting story um, um, in, in within the history of Christianity. Um, but but yes, it has always been a very diverse tradition, and that of course there were always people accusing each other um, of heterodoxy um, or heresy. And I I think that's just like with any religion, I guess you know. Totally. Totally, this is not special to Christianity at all. Um, in every religion, we tend to um, come up with a definition and a, um, a certain certain boundaries for the sake of the argument, like what is Christianity? What is Islam? What is um, Judaism? But um, these categories are so broad and diverse that um, their, their history um, consists of a long genealogy, a long history of interpretation, debate, disagreement, of course, violence, um, um, but also um, a lot of richness and, and creativity. Mm -hmm. 